A pleasant evening to my fellow Kingdom Ambassadors. I trust that we all had a wonderful day, a day filled with thanksgiving, gratitude, with peace, with love, with joy, and all these good things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now as we are winding down to head to bed, our topic, our devotions tonight will be based on a joyful heart according to God's word. Now the first thing we must understand is that joy is not the same thing as happiness. Happiness is an emotion while joy comes from the Lord. Joy stems from a heartfelt well, heartfelt gratitude. Gratitude is always intertwined with joy. So we're going to be looking at a few verses from the book of Proverbs, starting with chapter 15, verse 13. And it says, A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken down. Now let's look at that word merry, and merry can also mean cheerful, lively, high-spirited, or even joyous. Therefore, a cheerful heart, a lively heart, a joyous heart, maketh a cheerful countenance. What is countenance? Countenance refers to a person's face or facial expression. Hence the reason we can look at someone and tell their mood based on their facial expression. Now the other half of that same verse is on a contrary. It says, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken down. Firstly, let me inform you that sorrow means sadness, unhappiness, regret, depression. And the word spirit refers to your soul, your inner self, or that essential being. When something is broken, it is also known to be smashed, shattered, or damaged. So having understand all this of the verse, it's safe to read it over using those synonyms. A cheerful heart, a lively heart, a joyous heart, maketh a cheerful facial expression. But by depression, by, the, by regret, by, by sadness of the heart, the spirit, also known as the inner being, your inner self, is damaged, is shattered, is smashed. Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It is scientifically proven that depression affects physical health and well-being. Now, things don't always go the way we want them to be or to go. Life is a roller coaster of emotions. However, joy has nothing to do with emotions. As said earlier on, joy comes from the Lord. So how do you grow a cheerful heart? How do you cultivate a joyous heart? You need to be strategic. You need to be intentional about pursuing and cultivating joy. So real quick, I'm going to give you all a few things that can help you to grow a cheerful heart. Number one, figure out what makes you happy. I like dancing, among a few other things. Number two, plan something to look forward to. Number three, make an effort to smile more. Number four, celebrate with gratitude the joyful events, no matter how big or small. Number five, worship, worship, worship. Number six, guard your heart and mind. Proverbs 4.23 says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Do you want to know if you have a heart of joy? In the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 45, it says, A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So if you want to test to see what's happening in your heart, pay attention to your words or even to someone else, pay attention to their words. So brethren, I hope that this devotion would have blessed your heart and I pray that we would all intentionally work towards 
having joyful hearts as we go about our lives. Have a good night, have a good night rest, and be blessed.